Good morning. I am uh, up here in the Hyuinas on a Sunday uh, to a really beautiful lake. I'm only about three, maybe three and a half miles back, almost a mile that is off trail. And I've came to one of my favorite lakes that I like to visit every year, which is uh, behind me. Uh, this lake is known to, to crank out some pretty big brook trout, so uh, that's what we're here for. The ground's pretty wet, uh, which is expected this early in the season. This is pretty early to be up here. But I think I found a nice dry uh, a spot to put my tent right back there. And, um, you know, this is one of the very few, uh, I think there's only three established campsites back here. Not a whole lot of people come here, so... I'm going to get camp set up and just really looking forward to a relaxing day or two. So pretty up here. This is one of my favorite, favorite areas. Um, going to have a little bit of coffee. After I'm done with that, I'm going to rig up my fishing pole and head down to the water and uh, see, what, see what's going on down there. So it is still pretty early in the season to be up here. We don't know what the fish are going to be doing, but we're going to find out real quick. Definitely doing a double shot. I love that smell. Heaven in a cup. Oh wow. Just finished my coffee. I'm rigged up, heading down to the water for a little bit of afternoon fishing. Not sure how uh, long I'm gonna spend down here. I guess it just depends on if I'm gonna catch a fish or not. Um, I still got some things to do around camp uh, that need to get done before later, and I wanna do some day hiking too. So, gonna squeak in a little fishing session and uh, have it a great time. Goodness. I lost it. It broke me off. No kidding. Oh. Wow. Wow. Well, what you just saw right there is exactly why I came to this lake. That broke my 5X tippet clean off. Big fish. Um, at least 20 inches. So. Yeah, uh, dang, such a bummer. Um, anyway, I uh, guess I gotta tie a new fly on. I'm a little sad to lose that one. That was a, a bruised leech that I tied uh, just a few nights ago and I got a couple more, but uh, yeah, that fish was huge. Um, probably would have been, that would have been one of the bigger I've ever caught up here, you know, easily 20 inches. Ah. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp for a little bit and uh, process some firewood or, or at least collect some firewood. I had a couple strikes. Um, one of them was a monster fish. It uh, snapped off about 10 feet from the, the shore. Huge fish. So uh, we'll be back here in a little while. Um, and historically here, um, like most lakes up here, the fishing picks up, you know, a little bit later in the day. So anyway, we'll get back to camp and uh, get some things done so I can be ready for tonight. Well, I collected and processed some firewood. Should be plenty for tonight. And um, mornings are still pretty chilly up here. So if I want a fire in the morning, I should have enough for the morning. 
I'm just going on a walk, a little, a little hike around the lake. Left my fly rod at camp, but I do have my Tenkara rod in my pack, so I might stop and uh, toss that in the water, but just kind of checking things out. It's been almost a year since I've been up here, so beautiful. This little creek right here that I'm following is just loaded with little four and six inch fish. Whew, it is windy. Uh, just got done hiking around. I was out for about an hour. Did a little fishing in the creek with the Tenkara rod. Had some fun with the little fish. Um, I didn't get to film any of that because my camera <laughs> blew over and it went right into the mud. I uh, just caked my lens full of mud. I spent about 20 minutes getting it all cleaned up. It still doesn't look good. Good thing I pay for the, the warranty because that's going to have to go back. So yeah, I kind of bummed out about that, but luckily it's still working. So heading back to camp, going to relax for a bit and uh, you know, just kind of see where the day takes me. Good one. Oh yeah. Good fish. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah. That's got some bite. Beautiful fish. This is exactly why we come to this lake, guys. This thing is huge. Look at that fish. Let's get him back. Wow. Oh, probably a two pound fish. Woo! Yeah. Got it. Ooh, look at that boy. Big fish. Big fish, guys. <laughs> I am on the fish. Uh... I was filming, uh, my camera went dead, so I don't know how many of them I caught on camera, at least a couple. I did take a picture of a few of them too, so I'll go ahead and include those. Healthy, beautiful fish, big brook trout. That's why I come here. Uh, they are just loving these uh, iced dub leech patterns that I'm tying at the house. I'll show you a picture of them. And uh, I'm gonna move down a little bit since I've just pressured this area quite a bit. But uh, yeah, take a look at this bug, super easy to tie. Um, anyway, we're gonna get back after it. I do got a new battery in. Dang it. Had a tug. <laughs> Got him. Feels like another good fish.
Okay, okay, come on. Let me get that out of your mouth. There you go, let's toss the hook. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Um, hardly been a cloud in the sky all day. Pretty blue. It's been a little windy at times, but that's normal up here. Having a great time. Uh, my afternoon fishing session was red hot, and they were all big fish. There was one of them that was about 12 inches. The rest were about 16. So I'm going to take a little break. I got a new book that I'm going to start reading. I'm just going to hang out in my tent for just a minute, uh, maybe even take a nap for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, we're going to shut the camera off. We'll check it in a little while. <laughs> oh, I uh, hung out in the tent for about an hour. I read uh, a chapter. It was about 20 pages. Collected just a little bit more of the dead wood laying around camp. And uh, now I'm going back down to fish. I don't know what time it is. I think it's probably around 6. So I still got a few hours of daylight. But uh, I imagine I'll fish for at least another hour, possibly two. Oh, good thing I have sandals on. <laughs> oh, my feet are so muddy now. Uh, anyhow, uh, yeah, gonna hit the water and I'm hoping to hook into a few more fish before the night's over. day. Um, fishing tonight was quite a bit slower than it was uh, in the afternoon. I did catch a few fish. Uh, it was pretty fun. They started rising for dry, so I put a dry on and, and, and snagged a couple. Not quite the size that they were earlier, but still very healthy fish. Just got a little fire going behind me. I've got dinner uh, cold soaking in my pot right there, macaroni and cheese tonight. Uh, I'm not going to eat it cold. I'm just letting it rehydrate a bit, and then I'll heat it up so it doesn't take as much fuel. Uh, should be a pretty good dinner. I got a Reese's for dessert, and um, yeah, I'm going to sit here for a little while. I might even read my book right here with my headlamp or, uh, you know, hit the tent. Who knows, but awesome, awesome day, and uh, get some dinner going. Starving.